Hi there, my name is Dr. Lori Patterson. I'm the head of the Division of Infectious Diseases at East Tennessee Children's Hospital. And I'm talking to you today to alert you to the dangers that we are seeing right now here at Children's of a particular kind of E. coli infection that is linked to raw milk. We have seen in the last week and a half uh, several children admitted to the hospital with severe stomach cramps, diarrhea, and unfortunately several of them have gone on to develop a severe kidney complication that can be life-threatening. We have determined that these children have all been exposed to raw milk and I wanted to talk to you a bit about the dangers of this. First off, some definitions. The milk, when it comes out of the cow, regardless of whether it's an organic cow or a grass-fed cow or a certified cow or a very clean cow, regardless, the milk that comes out of any cow is raw. Standard practice in the United States for decades has been to pasteurize our milk, which involves taking that raw milk and exposing it to a certain level of heat for a certain level of time. This does not significantly change the nutritional value of the milk. Pasteurized milk is very good for you and contains all the nutrients that we think are good from milk. What it does though is that it kills any number of very dangerous bacteria, including this particular kind of E. coli that I'm talking about. Now, it's important to know all of us carry E. coli in our own intestines, and it's a good bacteria. It's supposed to be there. It can occasionally cause problems like urinary tract infections or, or such like that. That's not what I'm talking about. We're talking about a subset of E. coli that produces a very dangerous toxin that can attack the kidneys, the blood, uh, the blood cells, the brain, um, and can cause devastating effects and even death. Children are more, more commonly affected the, uh, with this, but any age can. The elderly can also have problems with it. So bottom line is, I know there's a lot of interest in natural products and qualifying the raw milk as one of those, but in truth, the dangers are real. And you might drink raw milk 20 times and never have a problem, and then on the 21st time, there might be one of these nasty bacteria in there. It's just not worth the risk to your child. If your child or anyone gets infected with this certain strain of E. coli and they get the toxin released in their body as a result of that infection, that toxin circulates through the body and can attack multiple organs in the body. The most common problem we're seeing is that these kids go into kidney failure, their red blood cells start breaking down, some of them have had seizures or even neurologic damage, and that can be extremely serious. We have four children right now who are either getting or about to get a kidney dialysis, and that may be a short-term thing or it may be a lifelong thing. There are children not here recently, but certainly children reported who've needed kidney transplants for this, and there are many, many children who've died from this disease. It's not worth it.